you know. But my bike, my motorbike, is on the other side of that river, on the left-hand side of where I am on the blue dot. And then there, somebody shared me a guy I had to send um, some paperwork to. Instead of sharing me um, a, a guest house, which he meant to do, he shared me his location, so I know where he is at all times now. Right? Uh, and that's and he's actually opposite the um, he's opposite the uh, that's he's sitting in his shop opposite the uh, the um, what do they call it the uh, the embassy. But it's funny though because ah there it is there Royal Thai Consulate. So it's nice to see he's at work on a Saturday. But uh, my guest house is. I do believe it's the Sonantha guest house there. Very good, 200 baht. I was paying 600 baht, but um, I'm now paying 200 baht to downgrade it. I decided, and it's it's one of these places, you see this now and then. It's one of these places that is, it's, it's old, but what it is, it's clean. So you've got all this old stuff, but they just clean it perfectly. All the tiles aren't perfect. But they're clean, you know what I mean? So, you know, you thought, yeah, okay. That's where the, the the hotel I was staying in 600 baht looked like a, a newish hotel, but, and it had, you know, lovely doors and handles and a lift and everything, right? And it was 600 baht. But when you went in the room, um, it had these great big tiles and nice and plush, you know, marble tiles. But when you walked around out the shower, and dried your feet as you got out, you know, the, the floor mat. You walked on the tiles over towards the bed on my things to get dressed, and the floor was sticky, right? It was like um, a steel, a steel cup outside for smoking. It was like still dirty with ash. No, no cigarettes in there. But it was dirty with ash, and um, and the shower uh, wasn't hot because it wasn't powerful enough because the cold water coming in. So, uh, yeah, so I'm on 200 baht a day, and it's a family-run place. And I inquired this morning about uh, a motorbike, could I hire a motorbike somewhere? And she said she was going to get in touch with someone and um, who hires out clicks, which are like, you know, a moped. And um, I said, no, I want something with gears. And she's oh, they haven't got any. And then she let, she's given me her, so I've got the owner's, the owner's one. So that's nice. I haven't got to worry about bringing it back and... There's going to be some fictitious problem. She'll just go, yeah, all right, it's OK. You know what I mean? So that's beautiful. So what I'm going to do, I've decided I'm going to have a little tour. And that's where I am there. I am in Betek Glan. I'm in the middle, right? And you've got the north. If you follow the Mekong, the blue, the blue line, the blue river, you follow it all the way up and around. I'm going north of Lao, right? All this area here around the top, there's Bunkan there, that's where I'm staying, well I'm not staying there, I'm staying, I'm staying here where the heart is in the middle, around, you know, and then you've got uh, Vientiane, now that's the north of Lao, right, that's where a lot of people go, so I'm going to come back down again, come back to where, where I am, and I'm down the middle, I'm in the central region, right? Now, what I'm thinking of doing is people talk about this area down here called Park C, right? There is a road, because they run roads all the way down the Mekong, right? So what I'm, gonna, what I'm thinking of doing is not going back with my passport, with my, uh, my tourist visa. I've got a visa for, for Lao. I'm thinking I might actually make it a bit of a holiday. I've been here two years now, and I've just stayed in the same town. I might actually ride a bike. I don't know if she's going to let me have her bike, though. But she'll get the money off it, But because it's her bike. Right? But she's not going to want me to have it for a week. You know what I mean? And then drive. Oh, it's really smooth, you know, 110cc on the wave. And um, go all the way down to this pack, see? It's a, you know, it's a beautiful place, they say. It's beautiful. All the way down, so you'll be going, you'll be going down, nearly down to the, but you can see Paxi there, but at the bottom where it says 13, uh, I thought the 13 stands for, it must be the road, the third, the, the road number 13. 
and it goes all the way down, and then you come down to the border of Cambodia, right? And then also the border of, no, I was going to say Thailand, uh, Vietnam, but it's not. So that just, but you can go over. I could drive all the way over to the road 11, and I could go to the, the, the Vietnam border. How many people go all the way over there? I bet there's people over there who've never even seen a white man. No one goes there. I could ride that whole thing. I go all the way, so I go all the way down from where I am at the moment, which is quite a drive now, I'd have to hire a big bike. Um, from where I am there, all the way down the 13, then I can all the way down the Slack Honsi, all the way through this area here, down the 13 to Paxi, right? And then um, that'd be quite an adventure. Then across the 16, take you all the way down. Yeah, it's quite old. It's a very wide country. You do Sekong, then down the 11, then all the way, and you finish up right at Zaden. And that's the last point before you go over the border into Vietnam. And surely there's no reason why I couldn't go over the border into Vietnam, is there? But um, you'd have to, you wouldn't be able to do You'd have to get a visa arranged first, wouldn't you? So, yeah, so that's food for thought. Or I just pick my passport up on Monday and straight back over. But, yeah, interesting. Okay, then.